instead of writing all these uh, answers to some of these questions that are commonly asked in most or probably a lot of times all the videos that I post on here today I want to address the insurance issue a lot of people ask what kind of insurance do you need for expediting where's the best place to get a quote how do you get quotes and stuff like that so you do need insurance for expediting and you do need commercial insurance um, like all state and geico and things like that that's not going to work you need to go to an agent that does trucking insurance because in the end basically this is all this is is just regular basic bottom of the line cheapest trucking insurance that's what you need to get the policy policy consists of 1 million liability 100,000 cargo and unlimited mileage radius you need to make sure that you guys get the unlimited mileage because if you go f within a couple hundred miles from your house and your your agent and your insurance company does not know that you're going you know OTR or regional or anything else like that something happens within a couple hundred miles you guys could be in trouble and not covered at all for cargo or anything so 1 million liability 100,000 cargo and unlimited mileage policy where do you get it you guys can call look up trucking insurances in your state in your city or in your surrounding states if you're kind of on the border with maybe I don't know per se Georgia and Tennessee and Alabama and you live over there somewhere in the little corner over there then basically you guys can all these agents that are um, licensed in Georgia they're most likely going to be licensed in Tennessee and in Alabama so they'll be able to out of all those surrounding areas you can call all those companies around and just first question you ask if they're out of state agents then you ask them hey are you licensed in the state of whatever state you're in and if they are then you ask them hey can you give me a commercial insurance quote now some of you guys are gonna hear ridiculous rates because some states charge ridiculous rates like the state of Florida that has insane insurance coverage um, very expensive California pretty expensive um, there's cheaper states like Ohio um, New York's pretty expensive um, I mean it, in the end it depends on how long you've been around if you're brand new and fresh obviously they're gonna try to you know charge as much as they can or they'll charge you less at first just to get your business but when your renewal comes around in whatever it is a year or half a year however you set up your policy I'd suggest setting it up as a yearly policy and if you pay up front for the whole year you guys will get a discount no matter with what company you're with so always ask about that instead of doing monthly installments then they charge you more but that's everybody's you know if somebody can afford it great if you can't then you can't so and always basically what you want to do is if they say that you never had insurance um, tell them you did have insurance and if you're if you had a home like a, a basic vehicle insurance on other cars then you can tell them that there is no lapse in coverage I had regular vehicle coverage and this is coming on you know to this vehicle so that way they're not charging you as like a fresh fresh somebody who never had insurance because these guys you know everybody's trying to make money and everybody's trying to make the most amount of money so in the end you know there's little gimmicks that they try to pull on you to where you're going to be paying more and it takes a long 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 time to be able to get decent rates on insurance i'm telling you guys that for a fact some people in florida and some people in georgia that i know have been getting quotes of 1500 to two thousand dollars a month that's insane the worse your record is the higher that coverage is going to be if you have a perfect spotless record it should be cheaper um, so you, if, you, if you guys have duis if you guys have speeding tickets other tickets if you have you know uh, reckless driving tickets um, any of that kind of stuff your insurance is going to be through the roof 
because they're going to charge you. They're going to charge you as much as they can. So it's... And if you're with a bad record and you're trying to go on somebody's company insurance, you're going to bump up that insurance for that whole company for every other driver. So I doubt there's many companies that are going to want to put you on their insurance because of that. Everybody's trying to save money. I know we, when we put people on our insurance, we it needs to be a perfect, perfect, perfect record. They can't have stuff on it. And we do have decent rates for now. But that all goes, you know, with good drivers who don't speed, who are careful. And, you know, I know that things can happen to anybody. So you, you can only be as safe as you can be. And not everything that can happen on the road is all up to you. But you guys got to have a clean record for, for insurance. If you have problems, if you've had problems, your insurance is going to be very expensive. But if your insurance is 1500 or 2000 a month, it's going to be very, very hard for you to make money in expediting. So there's no surprises. The cleaner the record, obviously the cheaper the insurance will be. So call any trucking agent in your state or your surrounding areas, cities, whatever. Get a, get a quote from any company and every company that you can think of. Should be fairly easy once you know the questions they're going to be asking you. Basically, you're going to be hauling general freight, no hazmat stuff, um, and that's it. That's all they really need to know. You're going to be hauling general freight. A lot of people don't know what to tell them because they're going to be asking you a bunch of questions. And if they're asking you for an MC and DOT number, you don't need any of that to obtain commercial insurance for a cargo van because the van is under 10,000 gross weight. You can register the van and insurance in a personal name or in a business name without an MC and DOT number. You can definitely do that. And if your agent is not going to be, not somebody who knows about that and tries to tell you otherwise, well, then they're not experienced. So find somebody else. Talk to their supervisor or somebody else. You guys can always call Progressive. Progressive will insure pretty much anybody. They're one of the biggest companies out there. And Progressive, well, they could be the most expensive and they could be the least expensive. So you never know what you're going to end up with, with Progressive. But last resort, or maybe even your first, they might have the best price or they can have the worst price. But they will give you insurance. They don't turn people down. I know some companies, they can turn drivers down for various reasons. Progressive, they, I've never heard of, I never heard of them turning anybody down. No matter what kind of record they had, what kind of problems they had priors or any of that. So hopefully that helps you guys out with the insurance. If you guys have questions, write them in the comments section. And my email address is in the description of every single video. So if there's some more serious questions, more in depth, you can always write me an email and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. But for the most part, just write it in the comments in the video. And I do answer every single one of them. God bless. Thanks. Take care. Until next time.